Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan in-depth video. Today we're going to be going over the data downloads that were on both of the JP and global sides of Dokkan battle. And yes, I know I did miss it yesterday. D3 got all the information out, at least that's who I watch anyway. So I saw that he did the video. I didn't watch his video yet, uh, but uh, I wanted to get all the news out to you while I can. So shout out to the Reddit, shout out to dbz.space, uh, and shout out to all you guys who joined me on live stream last night while I grinded out the world tournament. If you guys are wondering, I got within the top 2,000 for the global, and I got number one ranking in local. So I was happy because I won number one ranking in local for the new TN and Chiaotzu card. Uh, so pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bottom right view path with him, um, and then just get him to LR, and then grind out the rest that I need, like to get him to Super Attack 10 and whatnot. Uh, and then uh, Super Attack 10 with all four do paths unlocked. Uh, so that way I can just reverse him when I have the additional three other... Uh, paths and then you know send them back to lr but uh because that's not gonna that's gonna take a few months before we get we're able to actually get all four two paths unlocked uh, i'm just gonna get them to lr so that way i get those hercule grinds but anyway guys let's go ahead and jump into this make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new and uh news video piccolo event is coming this is going to be a looks like an exclusive potential orb specifically for piccolo so you're going to go ahead and grind that out uh, when the actual information comes i'll have more um, off obviously have more for you it looks like bulma krillin and gohan travel to planet namek in hopes of finding the new set of dragon balls however planet namek has already fallen gasp uh, fallen into the evil grasp of frieza in the heat of the chaotic battles for dragon balls ginyu force appears they are Frieza's secret weapons that even intimidate Vegeta. Who will be the one to win this fight and have their wishes granted? So, um, I guess it's the, the fearsome Ginyu Force use exclusive potential orbs to strengthen Piccolo. So you're going up against them to get Piccolo strengthened up. That's going to be awesome. Piccolo, it looks like he's going to be a really good card. We're going to talk about him in a minute. Um, the JP data download, by the way, happened uh, yesterday afternoon, 11, 12 hours ago. So the new cards are the SSR Piccolo, this TUR variant. And then we have the information about the STR Super Saiyan Goku winner and the uh, physical final form Frieza, the loser, uh, of the event between the JP and the global the JP and the global side of Dokkan. Now, personally, I really want the Frieza, and I'm pretty sure that the global's gonna lose. We lost last time horribly. JP takes it very, very seriously. Uh, but either one I would be happy with. Uh, but I'm I'm more of a fan of Frieza, so if we lose, I'll be happy. If we win, I mean Goku's cool and all, so I won't be upset. Um, new missions, tons of missions give me time. So, oh yeah, by the way, that's from uh, Zahal. So shout out to Zahal. <laughs> um, missions for Kid Gohan, EZA, and the Family Kamehameha, EZA, is basically just clear the event and EZA them. Uh, obviously, that's just whatever is going to be available for it. Missions for clearing the Legendary Super Saiyan event. Uh, release Piccolo potential to 100% gives a dupe, uh, gives dupes an Elder Kai, uh, or an Elder Kai. You getting 250 frog support items from Ginyu Force event gives various rewards, or notably SR Elder Kai and two stones. All right. Uh, I wonder what the frog support item is going to be. Clearing final stage of the Ginyu mission 25 times gives three stones. Clearing all stages gives two stones. All right, not bad. Daily missions uh, is going to be 20 stamina, three stages, seven up to seven stages, and train a character. All right, basic stuff. Earth's Wishes campaign numbered missions. Ca uh, clear an event with only a Namek Saga unit, 2.5 k friend points um that's that whatever exchange treasure in baba shop exchange treasure three times in baba shop one stone clearing 25 story events not stages total gives five stones and other rewards all right and clearing 25 stages of an easy a event total giving five stones and other rewards 12 to 16 um consuming 2500 stamina okay gives a total of two sr elder kai's five stones and one of each funky kai all right cool Piccolo missions maximum to level 140, and SA15 gives five stones total. Uh, new items we have the frog. Oh, also we're getting the redstone and the purple stone. Redstone is going to be the basic stuff, um, like the basic uh, original characters, original Dokkan Fest characters, like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and all that. Uh, what I put out in last video when I did a when I did a video about that stays true. Uh, maybe I'll do an update just to recap it and then point you guys to the video that I did make. So that way, the newer guys who are here can can see what's going on. Purple Stone, I'm at odds with myself. I don't know if I want to do for Duke Korra, um, or if I want to do Gogeta. The thing is, I would really like the Korra because, first off, he's movie bosses. I only have one dupe of him, uh, and I can't beat the Extreme Physical Easy A or Super Battle Road. So the, the Super Battle Road, they need to bring an Extreme Physical unit or if it's Extreme Physical team. I can't beat it. Having another dupe of him would be very, very uh, beneficial to me. So I'll have to wait to see what happens on the banners. Um, this is the frog. I don't know what's going on with this. Let's see if we can go to the global. Does global have? Yes, global does have it. Changes intelligence attack key spheres. Recovers 70% HP. Not bad. So he might be actually really useful in like the world tournament if you're running a tech Majin Vegeta with a nuke relief. 
um, in terms of the, the actual data download, this is for the global, but uh, I'm taking stuff from both the global and the JB because some of it's available on global and I can actually read that in English. So uh, we have the Piccolo over here. This is the Piccolo card that's going to be grindable, farmable. Um, well, we'll do Orb System just because uh, that's what we're going to be looking at because he's free to play Orb. Uh, his SSR Extreme Damage, Attack and Defense plus 40%, Attack plus 10%, Key plus 1 addition per Rainbow Key Orb obtained. That's not really that great in my opinion. Um, Z Fighters, Experience Fighters, Namekians, Brainiacs, Shocking Speed, Gaze of Respect. So honestly, Shocking Speed, Experience Fighters might be the only two... Uh, more common links that you can fi find him with and then Z Fighters, but Z Fighters is hit or miss depending on the type of team you're running uh, This is his TUR form and his TUR form agility type key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 30% special beam cannon supreme damage to the enemy um, It looks like with orbs 10,000 attack. All right 7,000 defense not bad attack and defense plus 50% attack plus 10% and key plus 1 addition for rainbow key orb obtained uh, Assimilate when conditions are met interesting interesting. Um, I don't know how the assimilation works. So we'll have to look at that um, he gets Shattering the Limit, and let's see over here, Special Beam Cannon, Supreme Damage, Tet Level 10, Super Tech 10, Super Pack Tower is increased by 20, uh, 20%, Super Tech become more powerful, duh. Um, at level 140, Namekian, oh, at level 140, he becomes a Namekian's category lead, HP attack and defense plus 77%, which is pretty good, or Agility Type Key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%, that's really good, uh, Passive, uh, Compatriot's Power. Attack and defense plus 60%, attack plus 12% and key plus 2 in addition for rainbow key obtained. Assimilate when conditions are met. So uh, let me go over the wiki really quick. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe the wiki has the uh, information about his assimilation. Well, that kind of runs. Anyway, so this is his, assim I think this is it, a warrior in his homeland, right? Yeah. And then, because this is from the, the Ginyu Force event. And there's this. And then what's his assimilation over here? Um... Super Tech level will go up to 15, but only through Extreme Z Awakening with metals, of course. After Z Awakening, his animation Super Tech will, it will change slightly. Uh, because Rainbow Key Spheres do not burst other Rainbow Spheres, you can only allocate a maximum of 5 right, uh, of course. Uh, for maximum of attack plus 75%, key plus 15, and 90,000 HP uh, and recovery. Alright, cool. So, starting from the 5th turn of the start of the battle, um, I guess you could assimilate. Um, this is... Uh, oh, this is his fusion. Okay, cool. So when he fuses, he recovers. When he's ex we're gonna do the extreme Z awakening stuff, but you guys can pause it if you want to watch it or go over to the wiki. He recovers thirty percent HP only once when he uh, after he fuses. He changes agility key spheres to rainbow, which is actually really good for him. Attack and defense plus seventy percent, which is also really good. Attack plus fifteen percent and key plus three in addition, and recovers uh, eighteen thousand HP per rainbow key orb obtained. It's actually not that bad, and his uh, super attack supreme damage and raises defense by 30% for three turns. He might be a, a, a unit for additionals because of that. Uh, that. That actually looks like what it's going to be doing, uh, because agility, I believe, gets additionals anyway. Um, I don't know. So it, it looks like his, um, for conditions to be met, it looks like, well, just starting at the fifth turn of the start of the battle, it just automatically goes to this. So that's not bad. He, he's a pretty cool unit for free-to-play unit. He's not that bad. Um, I'm, I'm probably, at this point, just from what I'm looking at, I'm going to say full additionals for that defense buff. Um, his attack, he was, I don't know, he doesn't seem like he's an out, outstanding unit. He just seems like he's going to be a decent free-to-play unit. That He's going to come in handy when conditions are met proper. He will be very good. But usually for events to get to the fifth round, it takes a long time, unless you're doing like a, a stage event where you're going up against multiple like rounds of, of enemies. Like you're going up against like five rounds of enemies, then maybe you'll get there in, in enough time. But um, yeah, that's the Piccolo. Uh, we have the Goku and the Frieza over here. I don't really have that too much about them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, take Zahal's post, and I'm going to take his post, and I'm going to put it over here on the left-hand screen. So that way I can read it, so I can talk to you about the Goku. And we'll do this. So you can take a look at his beautiful card art. Um, so Goku's gar card art, all types key, plus 3, HP attack and defense, plus 30%. Super attack, angry Kamehameha, deal supreme damage to the enemy. Quote, your pride has already been torn to shreds. Wow. Uh, passive. Empty conclusion, once HP is 77% or below, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 77%, not bad. Um, the HP restriction kind of sucks, but alright. Lynx, Z Fighter, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan Kamehameha, and he's part of the pure Saiyan category, and then the Planet Namek Saga category. Um, that's actually pretty awesome, so that's this guy right here. Alright, yeah, key plus 3, yep, right, so that is the right one. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, pretty awesome card, I can't wait for him to Doken Awaken, because that, that way we can see what's going to happen with him. Um, his, with orbs, he doesn't look like he, doesn't, he gets that crazy. But uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I think this is a Doken, a Doken exclusive, so 
Um, actually, it might not be. It might just be a, uh, like, like a, an actual character for the actual event. We may want to just summon for him because he might be an event exclusive. Now for the Frieza, beautiful Frieza. I love Frieza. Um, Frieza's stuff is all types keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 30% as well. Um, super attack that hurt. Deal supreme damage to the enemy. Quote, damn it. Like, screaming it. Passive skill, last stand with HP 77% or below. Key plus 3, attack, and defense plus 7. D7. Oh, wow. So he has the same exact thing as Goku. Link skills are universe most malevolent, prodigy, strongest kind of space, shocking speed, and nightmare. And he's part of the planet Namek Saga category. All right, not bad. I mean, Goku definitely has a little bit more versatility due to the uh, additional um, additional um, uh, category that he's in. And the fact that, you know, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, those are very, very, very common Link skills. But Frieza is not that bad. I, I, I guess that uh, either one of these cards are going to be very, very good. I'm very happy with that. Um, we also have this from the data. Oh, this is just the actual stuff. So this is the transformations. I don't know why. It looks like they're already assuming that JP is going to win because this, this is from the JP data download and it looks like they gave him the, the Super Saiyan Goku and then the transformations from Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan God, and Super Saiyan. But I don't see any of the, uh, of the, of the actual Frieza transformations here. I think they're trying to say something to us, guys. I don't know why, why, why that's like that. Let me know if you notice that down in the comments below. Um, we also have a title screen change in the JP version. Uh, it looks like this is going to be for uh, with the Frieza and the Goku just like going at it. Uh, let's see over here the new data download for global has become available as well which i already told you guys about in the, earlier in the video the backgrounds for the lrs have been fixed so apparently that's a thing so they should have diamonds i guess no more glitter oh no more glittery shit okay it's been so long i forgot how the backgrounds look like okay cool because they weren't supposed to have the, the actual glitter background so they got removed all right cool i wasn't sure because half the post i saw was about how they got the glittery backgrounds and the other half were how they shouldn't have them so i was pretty sure they shouldn't have them that should be a tur only Looks like that it was removed. Um, uh, seven hours ago, Agility, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, STR Broly, and EZA Gohan are all coming back. So that way, if you guys are, have not grinded them out, you can finally go grind that. Uh, we already talked about this. The red and purple stone for 250 million celebration is going to be coming out. Um, stamina timer has been reset again to three minutes instead of five minutes for the celebration. I might actually... Well, I did utilize that when it was here for the third year anniversary, but it's going to be really great to utilize it again. Um, and Namekian is the effective category for Piccolo's a. So you're going to want a Namekian category to go through. You should be fine with that. Um, outside of that, a D3 did find this. I don't know where the heck it actually was found from. So I'm just going to go over here and give him a shout out to his video. Um, so for the JP side, this was leaked information about what is going to be coming on the um, on the JP server for the, for the 250 million download celebration. This is the banner, right? So I guess the Gokus um, and the Freezes, I don't know if, if each of them are going to be specific to uh, whether you win or you lose, but in terms of the units that are going to be there on the hero end of it, because it looks like it's going to be a dual Dokkan Fest, it looks like we're going to have the Vegeta Blue Evolution. Well, that's, again, this is for JP. I don't think this is going to happen for Global. Vegeta Blue Evolution, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, Ultra Instinct Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and Kaioken Goku. That should be on the Heroes banner. And then on the Villains banner, it looks like you're going to get Turles, um, Rose, Angel, Golden Frieza, Korra, and Tech, Golden Frieza. Now, in Global, I don't think that this is going to be the case, um, but you never know. I mean, they could do the, the, the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta alongside. I don't think they will. They're probably going to replace the Turles and the Vegeta with something else, like maybe category leads. I would say maybe Ultimate Gohan. And uh, I don't know what another category lead for uh, villains would be off the top of my head right now. But they'd probably throw a category lead on there just so that way they have categories. If not, um, probably more 120 leaders. Maybe Super 17 for the uh, villain. But uh, honestly, I think this isn't that bad uh, of, a, of a setup for the JP side. I, personally, if this comes to global like this, which I know it won't, I would be going for the hero side. Just because I don't have any dupes of Ultra Instant Goku. I don't have any dupes of Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, I don't have Super Saiyan Vegito or uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, um, and on the global side, I have pretty, I have every single one of the villain characters. I do want dupes, but uh, I would really prefer to get some uh, additional dupes for the heroes at this point. But um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. When we get the information about global, uh, I do have to go to work. So when I get the information about global, I'll definitely do a video. I'll let you know about it. It'll probably come out today if it hasn't been already found out about. Um, I'll do some scouring on the internet when I get home tonight around mid. Uh, well, yeah, I'll be home around midnight. But, um, yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. Let me know how hyped you are. Uh, I can't wait for this to all start. Apparently, tonight, we're supposed to be getting the uh, tickets for the 250 million download celebration. I will not be summoning in the middle of the night. 
Um, maybe I will, it depends on what happens, but I don't think I'm going to summon in the middle of the night. I'm probably just going to fall asleep as soon as I get home and uh, do it tomorrow first thing in the morning and probably just do uh, a couple videos and do a live stream with it. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me here today, and I'll catch you guys later.